Greetings, members, one and all of the Salvation Nation. It is Tuesday. We are live. And I hope everybody is doing well out there in the YouTubeiverse. All right. Tuesday. Very good. All right. Moving ahead here. I never know exactly when this thing actually goes live. I almost thinking it's truncated, but I can forget to check each time to see if it's truncated or not. Anyways, let's see. All right. Let's get this into position so we can make a worthy attempt at getting this these comments answered for you guys here after we do a little comment review this is about um appreciation for you guys the viewers and um so i like to respond to these comments a couple of times a week uh in between videos and to kind of give a a little bit of an update and personal, make it a little bit personal, you know what I mean? Personal engagement with you guys in the community here. Now, let me pull up this thing. We've got we've got folks popping in here. We've got already, let me see here. We've got Speeding 108, who was first, looks like. And Cliff 2DK is here. Hello, Cliff. Good to see you. And Colonel was here saying hello, Sally. A slurp for the Colonel. Yes, indeed, Colonel 1949. What a great guy. Uh, served in Vietnam and it pours his own silver. Does a great job there, indeed. Loving the Colonel. And we've got Gary. He is here in the YouTuberverse. Very good. Good to see you. I have a, a couple of scam calls that I missed as I was recording my last video. And uh, so, yes, we've got Barbara Carbone is here. Barbara Carbone, I don't think she's driving. So let's get a little slurp here. We got Bill457. Hello, Bill. Good to see you. <sighs> Mm. All right. Yes, thank you, Co uh, Coach Alpha Elite. Yes, hitting the like button does help. And we got 15 watching and nine likes. I certainly do appreciate that. Hello, Cheryl Lay and Mr. Popzilla. Good to see you. Ryan Campbell, like the soup. Uh, or Glenn, right? Glenn Campbell. Good to see you, Ryan. I think a brand new viewer here, or a brand new person inside the, ch in the chat here on the live stream. Good to see you guys. I always appreciate you guys being here. This is what it's about. All right, let's get down to some of these comments here, and we're going to rock and roll through these and see what we've got going on, uh, what you guys are saying about this, that, or the other. All right. Okay, because in this some of these comments, I'm going to confess to some pumping. I'm going to confess to some pumping, people. Now, say that three times fast. Pumping people. Confess to pumping, pumping people. All right, very good. All right, let's see here. Okay, all right, and uh, stacking stormtroopers first on this video. This is a video that I want you to see. Uh, now, um, this is a video that I didn't want you to see, uh, and Miss Omega Shadow hopefully went and saw the video. But this is a video that I posted to make you aware of the other video uh, to uh, vote on what you think the price of silver should be. I want to get as many people seeing that video as possible so that we can get uh, um, a consensus from the community. Uh, like Aristos Malupos uh, posted his comment there. He thinks it should be $150 an ounce. And so there you go. Thank you. And Stacking Stormtrooper says, I think it should be $16.45 an ounce. Just feels right to me. I prefer it lower, though. No, I hear you. That's that's cool. That's a good, honest assessment there. Thank you, Stacking Stormtrooper. Who, by the way, speaking of Stacking Stormtrooper, um, he has got a really great thing going with his auctions, and he's having that tonight. So check it out. I think it's at 830. You guys want to ch uh, check out his auction there, Stacking Stormtrooper channel. Does a great job with it. Amazing stuff. All right. And uh, DK Coat says it's 50 to 1, asking too much for silver to gold ratio. Uh, I don't think so, but I think it's probably unlikely. That might be another subject for another poll we might do later. But this was about silver price specifically. All right. All right. Very good. Hello, uh, PDH. I think he's new here, too, from Wilmington, California. I've gotten a couple of new folks popping in. That's pretty nice. Very cool. And we've got Silverback Stacker here. It says, way overpay. All right. There we go. And uh, Mr. Popzilla is here with press three. Three times to make Terry appear. And in order to invoke Tricky Guy, we've got to say Tricky Guy three times. So I'm going to say Tricky Guy, Tricky Guy, Tricky Guy. I want to see how quickly he comes here after me saying that. Uh, all right, very good. All right. 
Yes, and we, we got to have some, something to make Terry Rabidou appear. We could say Terry, Terry, Terry. Okay, yeah, Silverback Sacker says, shop around people, don't overspend uh, for an impulse buy. That's true, yeah, that's right. Um, in, in auctions, people can get carried away. So that's sound advice over Backstacker. Um, you know, unless you just want to support the person doing the auctions, that's that's fine. But be careful with impulse buys and auctions do tend to do that. So sage advice from Silver Backstacker, indeed. Very well said. All right, nice. Optimus Locust, hello. And Jason Bone says, hello to Sal's gals. Yes, we have the Sal's gals. We've got that Barbara Carbone is here and uh, maybe we'll have we haven't seen stacking nerd pop in in a while but she's another lovely lady post some great videos and uh speaking to sal's gals here's cyber curtain twitcher not that there's any relation at all because he's he's the man's man all right very good so we have invoked the name tricky trick tricky guy tricky guy tricky guy a while ago but there's always a delay before he gets here it's crazy i'm gonna when he gets here we've got to we've got to see um um Ask him how quickly he can get here after we invoke the name. Because, you know, Beetlejuice, he does. He shows up pretty quickly. You know what I mean? There we go. All right. Bob Silver. Exactly right. You know, all are members of the Salvation Nation. But when we have Sal's gals, for the dudes, you guys will be my pals. So it's Sal's pals. Thank you, Bob Silver. I guess the gals can be pals, too. But all right. Very good. All right. All right. Very good. All right. Hello, Silver Wolverine. Good to see you. All right. Nathaniel Lee, can you do a face reveal with a camera? No, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of a pretty private person. Besides, you know, you're not missing much as far as a face reveal. There's not much there. Ah, uh, we should be this, um, Nation of Salivation. Yes, you are the Salivation Nation. I appreciate you guys being here. All right. Gaming Balls is here, and Juan Ortiz is here. All right. So, Larry Winnington says, one troy ounce of silver, I believe it would be worth 20% more value in it. If it had a minted coin type for that value, it makes the world go round. Godspeed, and all sorts of minted silver coins. Well, yeah, they're talking about premiums. We're In this video, we're asking about where you think the spot price of silver should be. But thank you, Larry. I appreciate it as we move our way up into this um thing here let's see all right tomoko's enterprise says sal old friend my thoughts are 100 silver and a thousand gold would not throw the com uh, communities into a kerfuffle 10 to 1 seems quite reasonable but to me yeah that would be nice but you know it would be nice to see that ratio tighten up like that but i don't think we're there um uh but yeah but that would be cool. But thank you so much. JT Sack Stack says, knock it back down to 14, please. All right. Very good. But that's where you – but the thing is, is I wanted people to actually watch that video and vote there um, because it's a, it's where you think it should be, not where you want it to be. Chris Garner says he will vote on that. Thank you. But that is a video I pumped because I wanted – I'm curious to see. Uh, South Gals Bosom Buddies. There you go. All right. Over here. Very good. Hmm. CCT would like to be pals with Sal's gals. All right. Donald in New Mexico is here. The one and the only Donald in New Mexico. He said hi to Barbara and he said hi to me. Thank you, Donald New Mexico. He's my pal too. Yes, he is indeed. Optimus Locust says you will not see silver below 70 ratio anytime soon. I feel those days are long over if you look in the past 10 years. Yeah, I think it's going to be a while before we see it tighten up to that point as well, too. Hello, Gary D. Welcome. And Chris Garner is midnight here in the U in the EU. Still in Germany, I guess, right? 69 uh, to 76 US dollars an ounce today. I feel is about right. Okay, thanks, Jay Silver. Bravo. Appreciate, appreciate you. I probably should have squeezed in another tier based off of what I see in there. All right, and here is... Chris Garner's view. He says, I don't normally buy bars, but that Geiger 100 grand bar looks cool. How much did you pay for it? The Geiger bars have quite a premium to them. And uh, I paid for it when silver was a different price. So I forget exactly. I've got it right here, actually. And I think it was probably around um, 90, 90 to $100, something like that, maybe. 80, 90. This got some premiums to them. Hello, Carl Electrum and Native Stacker. Good to see you. And Glenn D is here. It says, make me laugh. All right. 
What can I do to make Lindy off the top of my head to make you laugh? Mm. Ah, I don't know, man. Shoot. Listen to you all the time. Very informative. Well, thank you, James. Eds, I appreciate that very much. Definitely means a lot. And Barbara Severson is here. We got a good crowd here tonight. This is nice. Thank you, guys. We got 47 watching now, which is the atomic number for silver. Ah, 46. Somebody split. Somebody went splitsville as soon as I said that. All right. Um, we need uh, Terry back. Now let's get back here. Glenn D will try to, we might call a scammer later. Demetrius, hello from Greece. Hi from Greece. Hello, Demetrius. Good to see you. So I do your famous accents. All right, do my famous accents. Um, the one that comes most natural to me is Australian, I've got to say. Hello, coin sense nonsense. Actually got a notification this time. Very good. I think she should rip one out live on air. Rip it out. Just let, just let it rip. You know what I mean? The slurp did it. The slurp made Glenn D laugh. Very good. All right, here we go. Ah, get a little giggle from Glenn D. All right. Now, let's get back here to the comments. All right. Common sensei. Silver should be an eighth of the price of gold. That is what it is mined at. There is no reason for it to be any less except price-fixed uh, corruption. Well, I hate to disagree with you, uh, common sense, because I don't do that just to be disagreeable, but there's a lot of natural reasons why the price, uh, why the by the mining ratio is never going to be, we'll never get there, not anywhere even close. In fact, I'd even dare say that 20 to 1 is probably out of the question at this point. Um, but, uh, but anyways, that's a whole other subject. But thank you for your thoughts. I certainly appreciate it, definitely. Cliff says, we don't get to vote twice unless I'd watch it from a different device. That's true. That's right. And I would uh, actually ask that you not do that um, if you do it from a different device or different account. I want to try to get it as organic and as natural a uh, um, uh, sample as possible. But thank you, Cliff. All right. Very good. Yes. Yeah, so if you guys are in the chat side here watching this and you've not seen it, uh, the video is entitled, The Price of Silver, Where Should It Be? It's right here where my mouse is. So if you search that on my YouTube videos, um, uh, then you'll find it. Because I'm going to try to get as many views as possible on that sucker. Um, in fact, I know that it didn't get that many views even from posting this video, announcing it, which has a lot more views than this video does. And that video was posted a long time ago. It's genuinely because I want to get a good sample from as much across the board from this community as possible. And if you know of a place to share that video too, um, uh, that would be even better. Silver Honda says, I already voted in that video and made a comment. I believe that silver should be at the price you can afford. However, maybe a little higher than 17. Okay, that's good. I think it's a fair assessment. Very good. Thank you, Silver Honda. Appreciate you watching that. And how long will the dollar last? It will outlast all of us. And I kind of tend to agree in one form or another. It may be reset, but it'll still be called the dollar. All right, so tricky guy. Okay, I'm sleep lurking. Please be quiet. It's dangerous to wake me. All right, now, tricky guy. Let me ask you one question, tricky guy. And I'm going to ask one question right now, but I may ask you another question later, but only right now I'm going to ask you one question. What made you come here right now, tricky guy? What what brought you here? I'll slurp as I await your answer. We got Spectacular here. Hello, Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. All right. He's aiming for the Jagular. <laughs> That's right. The Jugular, the Jagular. And he drives a Jagular. A Jaguar. I can't make that pronounce it right. Anyways, it's easier to make things rhyme with Speg than acular, you know what I'm saying? Because my vernacular is not favorable to the spectacular of the spectacular. What's up? All right, who's asking about Alan Gold? Who cares where Alan Gold is? You know what I mean? No, I'm kidding, Jeff Sosero. We can have compassion for Alan Gold and wonder where he's at and hope he's okay. It's okay to have compassion for us for a troll, such as this saying, all right, let's see here. Slurp sound extra good tonight. Well, thank you, Barbara. Here's another one in your honor. Mm. Ah. Let that one soak in. All right. Colonic Stacker. We're still waiting for that answer from Tricky Guy, by the way. 
We're still waiting for the answer from Tricky Guy as to what brought him here. No response. He's very quiet tonight. Klonik Stacker, MMA matchup. Guitarist Angus Young versus disgraced Congressman Adam Shift. Um, Shifty Shift. All right, here is the – here is the. all right, now, there's no contest there. Um, if you were to do an MMA matchup between a um, – let's see here – a – uh, a horse fly that's been dead for 20 years and only the remnants of the body of the horse fly is floating around somewhere and some little particle of the body could win in an MMA matchup between Adam Schiff and the speck of the reanimated or the disemboweled corpse of a horse fly. Angus Young is a clear winner. He probably Angus Young would probably beat. Well, Angus Young would beat disgraced Senator Mitt Romney too. By the way, heck, a binders full of women could beat Mitt Romney in a in a, an MMA matchup. Half a binder of, yeah, a dead horse fly. The speck of a dead horse fly. Ah, oh, man. All right, let's see here. Don't get me going. On old Adam Shift, Shifty Shiv. Anyways, that's just me. All right, Horsefly wins 100%. There you go. All right. Let's see. We're trying to find... We're trying to reanimate Tricky Guy here. We're not having much luck. We want to reanimate the living body of <laughs> Tricky Guy. Because I'm curious as to what brought Tricky Guy here. What brought him here? Okay. He's asleep. Was having wild sex with an alien from... Andromeda, and suddenly I heard you say my name. So I'm now half awake and quite miffed. The big-eyed babe was hot. Well, that's fine, but uh, I said your name, uh, but it's not just saying your name. It's saying it three times. Did you hear me say it three times? All right. All right, Jeff Vicero says, Alan Gold's wife is yelling at him for spending money on Silver Eagles. That's right, he sure is. That's what's happening. Okay. All right. Let's tricky is dreaming. Ryan Campbell. Anyone have any info on California Crown Mint Silver Kit Kat style bars? Um, I have a few five ounce, about a ten ounce, five bag. Those are some premium silver stuff. Um, those are those are vintage silver pieces that are pretty um, um, obscure in the community. You might want to check out. Uh, I think that his name is St uh, Stackmaster G. And I think he's on Instagram. You might want to try to contact him. He's probably has some information. He's probably one of the guys that has some of the best knowledge. He hasn't posted on YouTube in a while, but Silver Bean Counter just got one of your rounds. JT Coin Rings got one too. Oh, cool. I'll have to check them out. Wow. Nice. Very cool. Do they post videos on them? I need to check them out. I'm a little bit behind on videos. I'm going to, I'm going to probably not going to be on here quite as long tonight. So I can catch up on videos and I've got another thing to do. But yes, thank you very much, Speg. Um, and uh, who else is here? Terry is here. Terry, here's a slurp in your honor. Terry79, hello. And Bill457. Yes, the Wall Street Mint Bar is really cool. All right. Where are we at? Okay, Chris Garner says... Who the heck wants silver to be $30 when buying? I seriously would not buy any non-numismatic silver over $12. I want to sell my silver at $30, but never buy it. But the prices are low. The gold will be lower. Can I use a sound effect at the end of this video? Yes, you can. I don't. I forget what the sound effect is, but you certainly can use it. Um, and Chris, uh, the question was not where you want it to be. Uh it's where you think it should be. That's the trick. That's the question. All right. When I'm asleep, you need to whisper my name three times. If I'm drunkenly comatose, you need to slurp my name three times. I'm not awake now. Don't know how now how I'm sleep typing. All right. Hello. Morning. Possible rain in the future, says Ozzy Alchemist. Yes. Especially if it's raining there. It's raining in the future because I'm in the past. Mm. All right. On the 100 gram bar, Geiger, they, I don't think they make them like this anymore. Uh, Chris Garner, this, you're talking about this Geiger? You probably only find it on the, um, whatchamacallit, 
on the what you would call it. What do you call that thing? eBay. Coin sense and nonsense. I took the salivate metal rounds on a trip to the central coast of California, but only have a short clip. Got to figure how to work it into a vid. Cool. All right. Well, thank you. Yes. Yes, that's awesome. Thank you, Coin Sense and Nonsense. And by the way, he's got a great channel. Does great coin reviews of collector coins. Nice stuff. Uh, yes, indeed. Check him out, Coin Sense and Nonsense. And hello to Gold Husky. All right. Very good to see Gold Husky. All right. Like my name, get your own. Oh man, come on, bro. Man, he keeps changing it back to that. I like I like it. Uh, food stamp. You got to reanimate the food stamp name, okay? And, okay, buddy, I'll check it out, Silvercat says. Very cool. I'm hoping food stamp will actually watch this video and and comment and vote. That'd be nice. JRW3, the manipulators don't care what we think, unfortunately. No, they don't. But I do. And uh, so I want to kind of see where you, where you guys think the pulse of it should be. All right, very good. Okay. eBay isn't showing the bar either. All right, sorry about that. Oh, poor no, good to see you. Hello, Salivators. Hope you're all well, doing well. I hope you're doing. El Porno is joining us as well from the future, New Zealand. In fact, he's more in the future than Aussie Alchemist, who's in Australia. Ah, he's probably about the. If you want to talk to somebody from the future, El Porno is the guy, or El Porcano. If you don't want to, um, uh, make it sound like you're. Being, you know what I'm saying? Same porno. <laughs> Tom Collins, according to the U.S. debt clock, 8.44 per ounce of this posting. The website is so nice and then to show how much they have devalued our currency and ripped us off in detail with many different things. Tom Collins, I hope you come back and listen to my reply to your comment because I posted a video about that very thing and why it's misinterpreted so many times. So the 8.44 does not mean that that's where silver should be or um, based off of uh, of devalued, it's 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 a different measure. All right, let's uh, Klonix Zacker. Whose guitar theatrics are better, Angus Young, Pete Downsend, or Keith Richards? I probably got to say um, uh, Angus Young. He's constantly moving on stage. Pete Townsend. Uh, not that I watch a whole lot of Who shows, and when I do watch the Who, it's uh, it's uh, John Entwistle. He just uh, or was an amazing bass player. Um, but Angus Young is just all over the place. Pete Townsend is, no, is known for smashing his guitars, but uh, Angus Young is, is about uh, making his knees go like crazy. So I got to I got to go with Angus. I don't even know who Keith Richards is. I mean, I have no idea who that guy is. Sounds like shoot. I no Barbara Carbone. Can you give me any clue as to who Keith Richards could be? Is he a, a market analyst? Is he a is he um, is he maybe a sports figure? Does this guy does he does he have a cooking show? I, maybe he's got a cooking show. Keith Richards, maybe I'm not sure. Maybe Barbara Carbone can let us in on that because I have no clue. My thoughts are 71 seems to be happy average for a five year chart, and that's fine. But we're asking for silver price, not ratio. Some experts say it should be 150 dollars an ounce, and again, that's another thing too. I didn't ask what the experts say should be. I'm asking where you say it should be. Where you, it's, this is your opinion on where you think it should be. Not where you want it to be, um, but where you think it should be. Low blood pressure is pretty specific. <laughs> $1,500.69 an ounce for silver. All right. Okay. Jim Farrell says, not so long ago, a $20 double eagle equal $20 silver dollars. It's been said that time and time again, and it's uh, not normal manipulation, greed, and no accountability. Silver should be at least $75. Okay. Thank you. Very cool. All right. Tom Collins made it. Tom Collins. Where did I just, I just responded to your comment down below. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Tom Collins. So Tom Collins, while you're here, I just you could rewind where I where I made this, but check out my video, Tom. Um, if you search my videos for 844 and U.S. Debt Clock, you'll see a video on it where I talk about it. I think you'll you'll find it quite interesting. I'd be curious to see what your thoughts are on that video, Tom. Thank you so much for popping in. You're awesome. I appreciate that, and thanks for posting this because I, I, I there's it's it's not what you think it is. 
and you, you'll see what I'm talking about when, when you see that video. But I'm very curious to see what you think of that, Tom. Thanks, Tom Collins. All right. That's cool. He showed up. Over here, it says, Salad, you said you want to get a pulse of the community. What if we were flatlined? Well, then you'd all be dead. You know, you know what I mean? Then we have to reanimate your corpses. That wouldn't be good. I'd lose my viewership like crazy. You know, I have to say dead man tell no tales. Well, dead man see no videos either. You know what I mean? All right. Okay, where are we at? Now, nah, I mean, says, I would feel good about getting 10 ounces for $100. Silver American Eagles. All right. Thank you, Now, nah, I mean. However, the question was not about feelings. What do you think it should be per ounce? $35 I'd like, $50 better. All right, Randy, thank you. But again, uh, the video, and I appreciate the thoughts, but it's not where you'd like it to be. Um, and it's where you think it should be. Huge difference there. 10 silver eagles uh, should cost $100, okay? Uh, still not answering the question, but try to be, let's see, your cell over 30 for sure. And as many uses for car parts and these solar panels that are going up electronics, of course, and money and collectible coins, the list goes on and on. Thank you, Silver Cat. Appreciate that. All right. There you go. Hello, Paul Deitch. Good to see you. Spectacular. All right. Very good. Did you did you post your uh your your vote on that video, Speg? Spegs? All right, I hope so. I hope Spegs voted in it. I hope James voted in it too. I hope Gooch voted in this video. Gooch is here. Synthrologia, 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 synthrologia. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Russell Berry says the livable wage here in the UK is about 10 pounds per hour, 40 hours a week is 26 ounces of silver. Spot price making an unusual wage at the weight of silver. 1352 ounce Scrooge paid Bob Cratchit 15 shillings per week, which is 133 ounces per year. So we earn 10 times that amount of silver per year, and we did in 1843, considering fractional reserve banking. Now it needs to hold about 10% of reserve. Does that make silver the exact same value as it was in 843? That would be up around 150 pounds per ounce. God bless everyone. Thank you. Well, keep in mind, too, that since 1900, silver production went up exponentially. So you have to take that into account as well, too. All right. Uh, Spectacular has got has, has yet to watch his buying schedule to being lazy. I'll get back to it tomorrow. All right. We'll just wait here. We're going to just – everybody just hold on. We'll wait until tomorrow for Speg to watch it because I want to see his real-time reaction. No, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. No pressure, Spegs. I appreciate it. Put a link to the video up. Uh, um, um, shoot. I, yeah, Darren, I can't right now without actually opening this thing up. I don't want to add to the views to it, but if you search for the price of silver, where should it be in my video on my channel, um, then you'll be able to find it really easily. It's this video right here, the price of silver, where should it be? Does that help you? Mark B. So there's a lot of people that haven't watched. I'll tell you, a lot of these notifications aren't going out. Let me see if I can do this. Let me see here. Uh, let me see here. Let me see if I can. I can probably grab it from here. But then I'm going to have to re. Ah, crap. I didn't do it. Why didn't it do it? Uh, I can't. I can't. I don't know. How, ah, dang it. Oh. Uh, Okay, I hope this works. I hope this works. Oh, no. Wait. Dang it. All right, here we go, guys. For those who haven't seen it, there's the link. There's the link. There it is. There it is. There it is. Right there it is. There's the pulse rate of the Salivate Club, 47. And uh, I don't even know. Let me close this out. I can't see. We got 68 watching, 35 likes. Now, that's the st statistics of this live stream, right, as we speak. There's 35 likes, 68 watching. Appreciate everybody. Now, I'm going to get back and get my boilerplate back. My common response to everybody. I might change that up a little bit. All right, 143 Druid, the beauty of no thumbs down yet. It is beautiful. I'm hoping 143 Druid will not thumb down this video. Barbara Carbone, is is that a dancer? What is that thing? Looks like a stick figure human. I don't know. <sniffs> Druid is here. Druid. Tony L. Silver production has gone up exponentially. You well, so has the population of Earth. That's true. I'd be curious to see what the population to um, silver production ratio was 
since from 1800 to 1900, from 1900 today. Be careful what you grab for, Sal. That's very true. That's what she said. All right, very good. Okay, you guys got it. There, that link is up there. All right, let's dance. Put on your shoes and dance the night away. Terry, let's dance. Put on your whatever it is that he says in that song. I forget what he says. All right. A video I want you to see. For 2,000 years, the relation of silver to gold was always about 10 to 1. Wouldn't mind seeing that again. It's true. Well, I hear you, brother. However, the question was not would you mind or what you feel. It's where you think it should be. There's a big difference um, there. All right. Eli, in the Wolverine state. Whoa, in the Wolverine state. Did you hear that, Silver Wolverine? Under the moonlight. Thank you. Under the moonlight. Yes. People say I sound just like David Bowie right now since he's in the grave. So I, my voice sounds just like David Bowie. If he were to reanimate and sing right now, he, I would sound just like him. That's what people tell me. All right. Very good. Uh, hey, Jude, but sing Speg as a substitute. Hey, Speg. Don't get that, Meg. So I'm to get five silver eagles for pretty close to $100 one last time. All right. Yes, I hear you. That'd be nice. I'll check it out. Thanks, Silver Dragons. And I think he actually did check it out. He made a promise and he kept it. Let's see if he did it. We'll find out above here in just a moment. The uh, the Everybody is really on the edge of their seats on that one. Hello, Pamela Rice. We have our wig hats on. Hats off. Nice. Saint. All right. And Century Sylvia. Now David Boney. That's right. Now David Boney. Instead of David Bowie, it's David Boney. That's right. <laughs> Received five more ounces of silver today, says Wild Turkey 38, including the newest Queen's Beast. And so did Century Sylvia. He got the newest Queen's Beast too. Check it out. I spurged a bit and bought two ounce 308 and the one ounce 45 ACP silver clone uh, pieces. One of them for a while. Finally just did it. Forgot to order the capsule for the QB. QB, the OL next order. Thanks. All right. There's always that next order. By the way, the Queen's Beast, the Queen's Beast capsules do fit the Salivation Nation round perfectly from Atmex. So if you're at Atmex and you're looking for a, a, a capsule, they, they sell those. Silver so Wolverine, this guy Eli says from the Wolverine state. See there? See that? That's what he said. Eli in the Wolverine state. So he lives in a silver Wolverine too, I guess. We all live in a silver Wolverine. Depends on the strength of the dollar, it says Silver Dragons. That's true. But I hope you voted Silver Dragons because that's it's where you think it should be. Um, and uh, so, yeah. All right, let's see here. Okay, they fit Salivate Coin better than they fit the Queen's Beast. Oh, okay, wow. All right. Very cool. Ned Flanders, needle those Ned. Speaking of Ned, where is um, Step Stacker? We haven't seen him in a while. Hope he's doing okay. And speaking of people who we haven't heard from in a while, uh, does anybody know what's going on with Mr. Zeke? Anybody? Mr. Zeke, I wonder how he's doing. I hope he's doing okay. Henry says, I'll check it out. Thanks, brother. Thank you, sir. All right. Rodney Richardson's. Hey, Sal. Didn't many years ago in silver used to be 16 to 1. What happened to crook manipulation? The wealthy doing what they have sued him. Can't say the exact prices of silver should be close to the gold, but it is not wanting to bring gold down. Yes. Thing is, is the ratio, the 60 to 1 ratio is where the price it used to be real, where it was fixed. Does not mean manipulation is going on. Not manipulation have that much effect. All right. The Fantasia rounds from Atmex are already reselling good on the secondary market. Heads up the flippers out there. Okay. Fantasia, that's right. Those are the new, uh, they're coins, aren't they? Aren't they a new way or something like that? Yes, Mr. Zeke went to crap and the hogs ate him. Yeah. Hope he's okay, though. Uh, let's see here. Henry says, I believe silver spot price should be somewhere between $150 to $200. Fingers crossed for that. Our guy wins 2020 election. All right, very good. All right, I'm going to call from this phone really quickly here. This freaking health, uh, health insurance scam people while we wait here. Zeke was doing stuff on another internet medium. Okay, Native Stacker, very good. This is exactly 
executive health. All right. We called you because you recently requested more information regarding a new health insurance plan. He's For fun. us to move forward, please answer a couple of questions. These guys are fun to troll. If you would like to opt out of receiving any more calls from us, please press 1. All right. I know which numbers are pressed now, guys, to get somebody in line. Usually please they press one if you're under the age of sixty five. Please press and one. And usually they uh usually wait on the line. It'll just be a licensed insurance agent will speak to you shortly. They'll pick up and then they'll hang up really quickly. It's weird. These people, I don't understand them. Let's see. Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. Do not invest in silver, this one says. That video, do not invest in... I see it as having a light preserver on a slowly sinking ship. Good analogy. Crime's not a very good analogy. This is on my video called Do Not Invest in Silver. Eli, the Wolverine State, says, traditionally 50 to 1, I know, I know not why I feel $20 silver, $1,500 gold. The 75 to 1 should be market today. I like 5 plus ounces of silver for $100. All right. Very good. They must be closed now. Felix says it comes out of the ground at 9 to 1, but half of all the silver mine is lost. That's not true, actually. So somewhere around 45 to 1 would make sense. However, I think that short term... The most realistic price is around $20. Okay, thank you. Your call is very important to us. That's good. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. Yeah, we're Stacking Kid. We haven't seen Stacking Kid in a while. Mike Miller, maybe the banks and governments are keeping the price of gold overinflated. Yeah, it's some, so this is the, one of the rare occasions where people think that manipulation in gold is to the upside. Yeah. Here's Stacking Kid. He's here. As soon as we invoked his name, he got here. Nice. Good to see a Stacking Kid. People were just asking about you. His ears were burning. He's too mature for us. That's right. His voice is changing now, folks. Yes, indeed. The Stacking Kid is here. The one and the only. I can metal detect it all. Geez. Something is lost. I can metal detect it all. There you go. Well, yeah, I mean, when people say loss, it means it's being utilized up and not being reconstituted. But if the um, prices go up very high or high enough, it'll become economically viable to salvage it. Opinions are like feet. Most folks have two, and sometimes they both stink. Yes, <laughs> that's true, chicken man, farmer. But I want to know what your opinion is on this, where you think it should be. There's no wrong answer. There's no stinky feet in this quiz. No stinky feet. All right. Julia, 777. What the market says, 17. What a free market says, without futures, $800 maybe. What a Roman soldier was paid for, 625. All right. So he's got a different, different things there, but thank you. I think we're not going to get any takers for the health insurance scam line. Which is too bad. All right. Coins A to Z. The price should be $25,000 an ounce. So I can flip my silver for the more nobler silvery metal because platinum to the moon. There you go. All right. I'm holding my... Yeah, that's right. I'm holding myself. Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. They don't care. They're not going to transfer me. I think we're at a lost cause here. I'm going to hang this up. All right, very good. Silver Tracker, hello. Good to see you. All right, where are we at? Back to this little thing here. Henry says, good video, Sal. And what is Young Silver Tips to buy it? I have a very good LCS, and he charges me 1270 face value and gets me the cherry pick through the stack, which has uh, been plentiful when I go see him. Thanks for bringing us some brilliant content. Well, thank you, Henry. Appreciate you, my friend. We're good. Mason Tricks is here. Hello, Mason Tricks. All right, where are we at? Moving on up. DW, if you pick any time in history, 
Most of that time, the price was what the traffic would bear. In the early 1900s, the government set, set it at 15 to 1, then adjusted it to 16 to 1. This is an unofficial set price, not that the difference to what the cost of process would be. The Hunt brothers pushed the price to $50 an ounce, but that dropped all the way back to $45. You can't pick out extreme highs and say that should be the price. My guess is, and just a guess, it would be about $22 an ounce. Very good. All right. And that's what I wanted. And good reasoning behind it, DW. Thank you. That was great. All right, let's have another slurp. Ah, yes, indeed. Yeah, everybody type in all caps from here on out for the rest of the chat, please, as a favor for Speg and me. Hello, hi, Steve. We're all typing in all caps, every single one of us. All right. This is a... Uh, this is just for this rest of this chat. We're going to do it all cap style. You know what I'm saying? There you go, Mason Tricks. You got it. This is all caps. So that way, if or when, I, I, I'll tell you what, what we need to do, and we'll, we'll do this for the rest of this chat. Everybody type in all caps. But next time, people, whenever Alan Gold comes in, we're going to do that again so that we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna out shout Alan Gold, you know, when he types in all caps. So everybody will type in all caps. All right, very good. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Donald in New Mexico can't can't follow the rules. Come on, man. come on, Donald. T Y U, please, Donald. All right, we'll get we'll get uh, we'll get Terry Rabidou to sweet talk you. Mr. Popzilla is locked and loaded. Very good. No, it hurts to shout. As hi, Steve. It hurts to shout. Um, just for the rest of this chat. All right, it'll be fine. Terry protests. Come on, this is the time where being where the end thing is is, all, is typing in all caps. Terry, this is the end thing. You know what I mean? This is where I want you to be a lemming. This is where I want you to fall in line with the crowd. Yes, indeed, be my lemming. Thank you, one forty three, Druid. I appreciate you guys. You're my artificial lemmings. All right, type in Alan Caps. That's right. We're going to say that we should all type in Alan Caps. That's why I called him All Caps Gold. Sal, my thoughts, my thoughts are we should type in all caps. That's what the uh, thing here, that's what we're doing. Caps 2020, everybody's screaming, yell, inmates have taken over. No sheeple here. Come on, just for, just for, yeah, Native Stacker, he usually types in all caps. So why is everybody screaming? This is the, <laughs> yeah, the coin couch. Yeah, I don't know. Well, she had another baby. Um, and uh, uh, so I, I think she's gotten kind of pretty busy. Um, but, you know, and the thing is, it's kind of a shame. Her channel really should have gotten uh, a lot more views than it did because she puts so much time and effort in her channel. Got my earplugs. I'm ready. Very good. All right, guys. Uh, good day. Good day, Tinsdale. All right. Thank you, Ozzy. Good to see you. All right. Someone, if someone doesn't understand the volatility of silver, they just haven't paid attention to the metal enough, which leads me to the conclusion, platinum to the moon. There you go, brother. Say that in all caps. All right, there we go. Century of Silver is not yelling, but he's with me. I don't get notifications when you come on, Sal. Well, Mike Miller, no worries, my friend. I appreciate you being here. And we're doing an all caps typing for the rest of this chat just for fun. Just have a little, just goofing off a little bit here. But Mike, um, just so you know, uh, I usually go live about 6 o'clock on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays at 6 p.m. Eastern time uh, pretty regularly. I'm regular, like as if I would have taken uh, a laxative. Uh, so yeah, so that's just the schedule there. And I post videos every day because some people aren't getting notifications for when I post videos too. Hello, Cash Potatoes Kennedy. Good to see you. Speed 108's voice is hurting. Native stack or sell. Uh, if silver would have continued to be used as money, then you would have to take into consideration inflation, cost of living, and other factors. Where I live. A new bedroom house cost twenty-one thousand dollars and sixty-four today, two hundred fifty grand. No silver would have to rise with inflation. Nineteen sixty-four went out to silver is one thirty today should be one hundred twenty dollars per ounce or more. Well, the thing is, is if you had silver um, as money, you would have much less inflation. In fact, you might not even have inflation. Um, uh, but yes, indeed. All right, uh, Vogus. I was wrong too. I thought we was in the way up for the next coming two to three years, but maybe not with all the money coming to the market and Trump's movements. Maybe the train will uh, come up a little in the future. However, I have my position in the games. Thanks for the article. Thank you, Vogus. appreciate you, my friend. Yes, indeed. Good thoughts there. All right. Very good. 
All right, let's see here. If it gets expensive, then what do we do? Um, if it gets too expensive, then what do we do? Well, you can sell it and profit off of it, or you can just continue to hold on to it. Um, so it's up to you, um, but buy less of it. Buy only what you can afford. Checking it out, my friend. Thank you, Coinman5000. Appreciate you checking out that video. Want to get a pulse from what people think where the price of silver should be. That's what that video is about. Sal, for some strange reason, some of your videos don't appear on my list until a day or two later. And I even get have notifications set to all. Well, Fiat Destroyer, I'm sorry, my friend. I'm going to have to start reminding people uh, in my uh, videos that I do post every day. And, um, and the live stream schedule is 6 p.m. Eastern Time, Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Um, just so people know. But I'm sorry you're not getting the notifications, my friend. Yes, thank you for being here. DW says, hopefully after the Chinese people come back from the annual holiday, they will buy gold and the price will go up a bit. Yeah, we'll see. All right, let's see here. Sal, shout a slurp. Okay, here we go. Here's an all cap slurp. Mm. For people just joining us here, uh, we are doing all caps typing in the chat now just for fun. And Mr. Popzilla has did an all. Uh, he did something better than all caps. He gave. He made his post blue with a dollar super chat. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate that. Read comments at appropriate volume. Sal. Wow, man. Good. Yeah. I tell you what. If I <laughs> if I did that, my voice would be out in a heartbeat. Hello, everybody. He's late getting here. Don't tell Jay Silver Bravo what's going on. Let's see if he can figure it out. Let's see if Jay Silver Bravo can figure out what's going on here. Let's see here. All right. We'll see if he inquires with the correct question. If he does, we'll tell him. But we hope we don't scare off Jay Silver Bravo, but he'll he'll notice something different here as he's popped in here. Let's see if Jay Silver Bravo can figure it out. That means everybody else must comply. I need you guys to be my lemmings, to be my brainless lemmings just for a moment. All right. All right. Let's see here. Uh, okay, let's see here. Nothing to see here. Nobody answered my question. What was your question, Funny Colors? Uh, let's see. You blew a cell. I heard everything. Oh, crap. I blew it. Oh, Jay Silver Bravo was lurking and I heard that. Okay, so no surprise. No surprise. He heard, he, he heard me tell everybody it's all caps. Dang it. <laughs> 90 watching now. Very good. Thanks, you guys, for watching. I appreciate it. We got 90 watching. Actually, 89 now. Somebody splitsville. And 54 thumbs up. No thumbs down, which is amazing. So thank you guys for, for uh, being here. It means a lot. We're having a little fun here with the comment review. And uh, and for those just joining us in the chat, we are typing in all capital letters. All right. Very good. Just till the end of this chat. At any time. All right. Terry Rabadou in all capital letters says T-Y-U. All right. There you go. Thank you, Terry. Appreciate that. And we need you to start making fun of small gold. He keeps making fun of your voice. He hates being thought of as an Italian mafia type, so it might be good to do it, to way to dig at him. Yeah, that's right. You know, I can't do, I wish I could do his impression of me like Stormy. Uh, but yeah, but uh, uh, yeah, small gold is one of the smartest people on YouTube. Um, and uh, yes, indeed, he does his research, is good, good stuff. Sub subscribe to his channel. Uh, and even more importantly, go to his website and support him. A good guy. But I, I don't know. I can't do his voice, though. I couldn't even begin to try. Uh, yes, indeed. But uh, Lewis, uh, he's a great guy. All right. I don't get a chance to watch as much of his videos. But but uh, any research the thing to do. Yes. Good stuff. Go to his website. Brian Pearson says, I think it should be $25 an ounce. Cool. Thank you. Bryant, you answered the question correctly. That's good. JG says, just wondering, your other video is a video I want to see, so here I am. I'm saying $700 an ounce for silver and $7,000 for gold. The reason I'm using those numbers is I'm roughly using the implied non-deflationary price due to exponential increase in global. In other words, he's referring back to the, um, to the um, essentially, the, uh, uh, the debt clock thing, but yes, I thank you. Don't have time to really go into that really, but um, and why that's probably not the best logic to use, but uh, but thank you for, for your thoughts on that, JG. Appreciate that. 
All right, Coins A to Z is here. All right, good to see you. Hey, very good. Oh, man, oh, yeah, Silver Mac. We're going to give Silver Mac a wrench. We'll put him in a little wrench here. Hello, Silver Mac. Welcome. Hello. Good to see you. All right, don't care about paper values. of the major tricks. And if you um, are just joining us here, we're typing in all capital letters till the end of this chat. All capital letters. Yes, indeed. Very good. All right. Nice to see you guys. Oh, hello. All Caps Tuesday. This is Robert Watch. Robert's Watches. Thank you, sir. It's All Caps Tuesday. There you go. Indeed. The debt clock is hard to watch. It sure is, Bill 457. Depressing, isn't it? The following recent article on Platinum. Okay, cool. Thank you, Coins A to Z. I will check it out. I will check it out. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Quantum Chang says, they're all nicely minted, but how accurate are the weights? If you sell them to a jeweler, this is about 70 ounces of uh, gold bullion. They don't care about how beautiful a minute it is. They just want to melt it down and make jewelry. So they need to weigh your gold. They don't give a crap about the certification number printed on it. If a piece of gold is slightly underweight, they'll pay less accordingly. Well, that's true. If you're giving it to a jeweler or just selling it for scrap, that's right. Very good. All right, let's see. Mr. Old Fang is here. Good to see you. Okay. Now, Gen C says, why are the prices going down when they should be going up? I think a lot of, uh, I think a lot of longs are getting out with all that's going on in the world. Prices should be higher. No, um, I think they will. I was wrong, um, and they did, they did skirt down a little bit, but they're starting to creep back up again today. I think we're going to see it. There's already nervousness about trade and retaliations. Oh, man, speeding 108, 199 Super Chat says, caps lock this, biatches. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Sweet it. All right. Very cool. All right. All my 100 ounce bars were two to five point under. Oh, wow. Two to five uh, under spot or two to five under weight. I'm not sure what that means with both four, five, seven, but Rick says 25 ounces of silver for one ounce of gold is what he thinks the ratio be at. I don't know why. I didn't ask about the ratio, but I'm, I might do a video on that. Should be half the price of gold, says Silver Stasher. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. So that'd be a two to one ratio. That's crazy. Greer the Tiss says $50 per ounce seems quite reasonable. 35 ounce at a minimum. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. I probably should have, if I could have put another tier in there, I probably would have. But Chad Lichtenstein says if this is the poll, I think people should be whatever the debt clock says it is. Well, Chad, I posted a video about the debt clock um, and um, hope you get a chance to see it. Sal, do I have to watch this video? I demand you to do it. It's not only that I want you to see it, Chief. I'm demanding it. Indeed. It is mandatory, just like typing all caps for every viewer here, like they're doing. Very good. No, I'm kidding. You don't have to watch it, Chiefly. But I hope you do. Watching this video now. Thank you, Value Hunter. You are the man. Sal sent me. Thank you. Thank you. I should have told people to say Sal sent me in there. That's great. If you go watch this, if you haven't seen the Price of Silver video, this one here, to let me know where you think the Price of Silver should be, um, I'm sending you over there now. To, and, and if you put in the comments, Sal sent me. You know what I mean? Then you will do that. All right. Drain the swamp. Uh, is it 11, 6 p.m.? Cool. All right. I just timed out Silver Mac. Oh, man. Just timed out. Timed yourself out. Sal, wait a minute. I have already seen this video because I watch all your videos. Well, thank you. Dude, I appreciate that, Chiefly. You the man. You the man. Yes, it's down. Unfortunately, I believe we will see many more down days. I don't think we will. I'm optimistic. And actually, that's an unfortunate thing because I'm that's actually pessimistic because I want to buy more, you know. Now it'll be. Silver should be worth at least $600 an ounce to reach historic average purchasing power. Okay. Thank you. He answered the question correctly, what he thinks it should be. Danielle with Kitco interviewed the Perth Mint rep that was showing that giant gold coin. He stated silver was processed at about 50 to 1 at the time. I'm pretty sure it was a while back. I'd like to check that video out. All right. All right. Oh, Silver Honda is here. Hello, Silver Honda. I adamantly refuse to type in all caps. 
he is serious about it because he just typed that in all caps. He adamantly refuses. But I'm hoping that if you do say platinum to the moon, it's in all caps. I'm hoping it will be. Mm. Breaking news. Mueller pursued FBI director job in 2017 after meeting with Trump. He stated under oath that he did that he did not. Yes, that's right. I think there is evidence of that. I remember hearing about that quite a while ago. Um, actually, after his testimony, Trump had talked about that. All right, let's see here. Aaron Cross, I'm breaking the rules just for Terry. Breaking all the rules. Isn't that an Aussie song? Thank you, Aaron Krauss. Good to see you. All right, Kalani Sacker, would you agree that the intro of Everybody Wants Some, that David Lee Roth makes authentic monkey sounds? You know, I, I don't remember that song. Is that from the solo album? I'm not sure. But it wouldn't surprise me. David Lee Roth has some strange audibles coming out of his mouth. Jay Silver Bravo, can we make it mandatory that Alan Gold can only respond in Super Chat? Yes, I think we should. We can do that. We'll do that. If he pops on, we'll do that, Jay Silver Bravo. Indeed. All right. He can only respond in Super Chat. That's right. Or lowercase letters. And everybody else will type in uppercase letters. And... uh Homebrew's here. Hello, homebrew. We're all typing in, in all capital letters for the remainder of this chat. Just why? Just for fun. And to freak out Alan Gold if he comes in. You know. All right, here we go. All right, Silver, Silver Mac has done it. Now I cannot get it out of my mind. I've got to sing it here. We all live in a silver wolverine. A silver wolverine. A silver wolverine. We all live in a silver wolverine. A silver wolverine. And you'll never guess what. A silver wolverine. And somewhat in key. I don't know. I might have been a little bit out of a key. I'm still singing. I'm still talking in the same key. I'm going to get out of this key and go back to my normal voice. Ready? One, two, three. Now. <sighs> okay. We're back. Matthew Weir. We brought Matthew Weir out of the doldrums of Lurkville. To say beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. Appreciate that. <laughs> Hell of a song, Sal. Thank you. All right. Billboard Top 100. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I billboard my audience to death. Silver, de Silver Derangement Syndrome. I got it. Jeez, yeah, you saw that video I posted called Silver Derangement Syndrome, right, Pamela? Yes, indeed. Yeah, it's Silver Wolverine's campaign song. That's right. Exactly. Sing that, isn't it? Ah, uh, the front door key stuck in his throat. There you go. Pamela Rice is here. Yes, Pamela, Pamela, good to see you. Where is Pudenda? We need Pudenda here. All right. Now, Time Lord says, not first. Not first, not first. All right. Homebrew, an ounce of silver is worth three gallons of fresh raw cream top milk. We would love the raw milk. Unpasteurized. Creamy, love it. I record a roll. All right, Junius Mouthby. Hi, absolute clowns. Hang them all. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. I don't care if it is ETF, SBR, Gold Trust, or any coin company. Possess your gold, people. And well said. I agree, Junius. I'm with. I like the physical. I like to hold on to my gold. Well stated. Thank you, Junius. The voting link does not appear for me. You got to do it from a computer, Glenn. And it's in the upper right-hand corner. Thanks, my friend. I don't think it works on a mobile device. Ron W. says, I already voted, so comment. Most companies are getting very close to $100 per hour for uh, almost every kind of nurse service call. So for that reason, silver should be at least $100 per ounce. Okay, there you go. That's some logic behind that. Thank you, my friend. Driving and shouting, says Silver Heist. Thank you, Silver Heist. Yes. All right. Drive and shout. Cal, one, two, three. I think the price should be somewhere between $15, $18 per ounce right now. Too many other factors that will keep the price of silver down a bit. Gold viewed us as valuable cryptocurrency, slow down the economy. And I think silver isn't uh, really going to make you rich. I agree with that. I believe in the long run, it should maintain its value against inflation, therefore slow and steady growth of the long run. Although I tell you what, I'm having a little change of heart, actually, about silver making you rich. Yeah, yeah. You're th me, of all people, who doesn't like to pump silver, is actually saying that there's a chance that silver can make you rich. 
Stay tuned for a future video. Maybe we'll see. You never can know. Silver mat bathes with a silver bar of soap. Hmm. All right. Now, may the Schwartz be with you. It's Pumper News. There you go, the Schwartz. I love that name. That's right. That's from Yogurt. Sal the Silver Pumper. That's right. I bet I won gold, 2000 silver, $75 minimum, up to $200 silver high within five years. Very good. All right. Silver bubble bath, says Barbara Carbone. Nice. I like to squeeze in that silver bubble bath with Barbara. That'd be sweet. Oh, that'd be a golden time. I just did a little slurp. I poured silver, made me broke. Uh, Eric says, Silver Honda, I heard that song on the radio. Immediately thought of Sullivan Metal in the gang and a good chuckle about it. Good to see Eric. Hope Eric is doing well. Eric, you're just joining us. It is All Caps Tuesday. We're having everybody type in all caps today for the remainder of this chat. So uh, you didn't get the memo, but it's there now. Somebody tell Slacker Stacker. And speaking of Slacker Stacker, he's here, number one. Number two, let him know that it's All Caps Tuesday. We're typing all caps. Number three, you got to see the build. You've got to see the build. The build, the build, the build, the build, the build. There's some secrets in the build, and there's going to be a testing of the build. If you want to know what I'm talking about, subscribe to Slacker Stacker and watch his. Go back and watch the first one, then watch the second one, but you can't watch the third one yet. Not even I can watch the third one. Do you want to know why? I bet you're wanting to know why. I'll tell you why. Even if nobody has asked the reason why, the reason why is because it's not been posted yet. That's why. Imagine that. Oh, ye gods. Unaffiliated. Current price should be $55 an ounce. Thank you. All right. Very good. This is on a video that I'm wanting to share. If you just share it on your Facebook pages, uh, share it on your Instagram feeds, anywhere you can. The price is silver. Where should it be? I want to get as many people seeing this video as possible because I'm going to get as many people voting as possible on where you think the price of silver should be. Keyword being should. Um, so if you know of anybody, if you can share this with um, your your Discord, your your Reddit, your Instagrams, your Instagrammies, your wherever you think. All right. All right. Why, oh, why, oh, why? Let's see. I want to get it. Colonel, later, Sally. Bedtime for Bonzo. All right, sleep well, Colonel. Thanks for hanging with me here, buddy. Silver Turtle, 65 is here. Hello. All right, very good. Yes, and for those just joining us, hola, como estas? Vamos a la estación de ferrocarril. It is All Caps Tuesday. Our votes, your votes do count. Your votes do count. I want as many people voting this as possible. Toshio says, I think it should be 50 bucks an ounce with gold matching and a 50 to 1 ratio and still a strong US dollar. A silver bonbon looking poured piece. Looked very cool. Excuse me, the hiccups here. Very cool. Thank you, Toshio. <laughs> ah, sorry about the hiccups. Coins A to Z, the cute and cuddly kitties are doing great. In fact, if you watch this video, Coins A to Z, and the price of silver, where do you think it should be? I think at the end of that video, there's another video I did. You will see one of those salty, cuddly kitties. All right. I've been sneaking them in in a couple of videos from time to time. But you have to watch to the end, usually, to see them. Pamela Rice, I'd like to see silver at $40 an ounce. I'd sell, then I could relax then. Yes, indeed. All right. There's something fishy about Sal's pole. That's what she said. Pale eyes, every day crestfall, another day of silver price doldrums. All right, very good as we squeeze on up here. Burping all caps, yes, indeed. Uh, Sal, do you know the out of grand ground ratio is for gold to palladium? No, I don't. That's a good question. You don't see uh, uh, much of the um, um, manufacturing data for palladium or platinum. I don't know what organization would head that up. And so that way you'd have to say, like my name, get your own. I want you to get bring food stamp back, like my name, get your own. We're missing food stamp. And we're all typing in all caps right now for those who are just joining us. I'm waiting for Alan Gold to only speak in super chat donations. If JP Morgan and others didn't regularly smash down the silver price and spoofing naked paper shorts, people wouldn't scorn the white metal so much. So we'll go to $50, I think. Okay, thanks. Pamela, appreciate that. 
Funky Town. All right, Funky Town. Hello, Rock and Rock. Good to see ya. What are you up to, Sal? Oh, man, yeah. Well, man, we're just up to no good here, so we're being counted. Just chilling like Bob Dylan, you know me. I'm down with uh, OCC. It will be a very good chunk like silver. I like it. The platinum, the metal to invest in 2019 video I did a while ago. I don't know. Has uh, Coins A to Z seen this video? It's embrace the caps lock, people. Embrace the caps locks. Yes, indeed. 39. Hi, Sal. Investment, uh, investment, investment. There you go. Invoke the investment. All right. Very good. Thank you, Donald. All right. I know. Harry Zero says the lowest price of silver should be 2008, 9, 10 highs on rocket terms. Should be in the launch pad, ready to escape the gravitational drag of fiat currency. Thank you, Harry. All right. Um, J Silver Bravo. Um, I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to post a follow up video on it, but I want to get it out there as much as possible before I do it. So, um, anybody wants to, um, uh, Share that video. That'll help because I want to do a follow-up video on where the community thinks the price should be. Cloxy, what should the markup versus mining cost be? Hmm, that's a good question. I don't know. I think that's a very deep uh, philosophical because you've got to, in data mining, you got to find that stuff. I watched and voted a while ago. Thank you, CCT. I appreciate it. Faithful viewer. He's awesome. All right. Mr. Harris, U.S. is approximately 262 million troy ounces of gold to pay off the $74 trillion in U.S. debt. The ounce have to be valued at this. A lot of statistics here. And it's $46 an ounce in the new dollars. So he thinks that the um, petrodollars and $46 in the new dollar. Okay. Thank you. Coffee is making me slurpy, says 457. I know. I hear you. Silver Honda drives a blue Honda. All right, yes, indeed. Let's explore. My special guest this evening is Terry Rabadou. Yes, indeed. And an unknown error there. I don't know why, but we're back in it again. Comment failed to post. Mr. Popzilla, what's going on here, Mr. Popzilla? I can't post your comment. See that? Don't know what's going on anyways. I tried, Mr. Popzilla, but you're here. You saw me answer that. Yes, indeed. Let's see if I can do this one. I don't think it's going to let me do this. One. Nope. Let me refresh this. We're almost near the top anyway. I think this thing's got a something going on here. I don't know what's going on. Ah, it must have went in the spam folder. Let's see here. No, it didn't go there. Come on. Come on, do it. YouTube's blocking me. Yeah, something's crazy going on here. Let's get back down here. I don't have a whole lot of time, guys. I don't even know how many viewers. We're, we're down to 77 now. We're going to get back here. Um, let's see here. Some of these comments. We'll do a couple more comments, and i got to go bolt. Let's see here. Where are we at? Okay, here we go. All right. I previously voted this Barbara Carbone. She didn't type in all capital letters, but she didn't know that this very moment we'd be asking people to type in all capital letters. So we're asking everybody to type in all capital letters. Okay, thanks. Thanks, food stamp. You always be food stamp to me. Like my name, get your own. Mm. Ah, you know what I'm saying? You always be food stamp. I hope you don't mind. Okay. Carl Johnson. There can be no silver price discovery as long as the spot price comes from the der uh, derivative instead of the physical. All right. Which is, and I understand that, uh, but I've still been curious to see what you think it should be. All right. Zeros and, and uh, O's, my conspiracy theory, there is a bullion association in London that is partnered with the Federal Reserve and buy silver at $14, $1,000. doesn't matter to me because the dollar is just made up paper current, uh, paper. All right. There we go. All right. I hope you still voted in that. But thanks for your thoughts. Okay. I voted. Can I get a sticker saying so? Yes, here's your sticker. For those of you just joining us, I want to get this video spread as much as possible. The price of silver, because I'm going to do a follow-up, because your voice to be heard on the price of silver, where should it be? There's a poll in this video here. All right. Share it and talk about it and all that jazz. I want to get as many people voting that as possible. $1,000 says Aziz. 
and uh, gold 2000, silver 325. I would probably do one in gold too, but I'm going to separate them out because I want to keep the focus on each of the metals separately. One troy ounce of silver should be $300 in today's economy, about the average day's pay, says Red Phantom 70. Okay, thank you. Uh, possible voter fraud in your silver poll. Oh boy, yes, Congress. Maybe uh, we can get to, we can get Adam Schiff to um, to subpoena me. James Jordan, silver will keep going up indefinitely because inflation in our until our currency system collapses, which is very close. Let's see where he talks about silver sitting at seventy five right now. This is where he thinks it should go, and then he posts some other stuff. There. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate the thoughts on that. Very good. Well, thank you, Queens A to Z. I appreciate it. You guys are great. Appreciate y'all being here. It's a great community for sure. Why is my desperately pumping a poll, says Trigger Chimp? Yeah, trying to get as many people to vote on it because I'm going to do a follow-up video um, uh, talking about where people think, where people are on it. Yes, indeed. So I'm pumping that poll. Leo Markable, silver will indeed go up in value since it's a strategic metal. Millions of PV cells and phones guarantees it. Well, um, that's a speculative nature of it. And in that case, in the short term, you could see that probably happening. But in the long term, I don't think it really will. I don't think it's true value has been really been realized yet in terms of price. Bob Sullivan, every dollar should be worth about one fiftieth of an ounce of silver. Okay, thank you, Bob. Silver should be $2 per gram, $6 per ounce. All right, thank you, sir. And... Let's see here. Michael Byrne, the U.S. debt clock is for 870 per ounce. Michael Byrne, I hope you watched my video on that very subject. Search U.S. debt clock or search debt clock and 844 per ounce silver. Trade for house, uh, almost 100 ounces gold. Yes, probably with that silver there or gold there, the amount you could buy a house with it. Let's slurp. Adventures is here. Hello, Adventures. Good to see you. Sincere question, how high could silver reach in the next year and yet the economy is still not collapsing or free fall? I bet $50 and we're in trouble. I think that's probably about right. I th think it got up uh, very close to that uh, without it, but it is more prime for an upward price trajectory without a deep economic term now, especially considering the dollar is still so strong. All right, very good. Hello, Urban Life. Good to see you. I got some three Brits, two kangaroos. Good buy on those for sure. All right. Hi, Sal. P, 1933, what is your opinion about 64 Canadian half dollars versus coin versus BU coin? Thank you. Um, well, the proof is obviously um, uh, much shinier, much prettier, and really not much more than the brilliant uncirculated. Um, you will have a premium, somewhat of a premium to get it, but it's not that much more, but they're beautiful indeed. All right. Are stocks considered investments? I would say so, this an aggressor. Anything where there's risk involved, um, uh, I would consider an investment. Food stamp says, I wish I could find a bunch of gold coins. That way the government can say they belong to them. Yes, I know. I hear you. Exactly. Thank you, my friend. This is the rare gold coins worth millions of dollars shipwreck found. Cliff says, hey, Sal, I ordered a salivate metal round from Atmex yesterday. Can't wait till it arrives. Well, thank you, uh, Cliff. That's awesome. He ordered a round from uh, the Atmex website, uh, the Salivate Metal Round, uh, a link of which is in the description of this live stream and all my videos. Appreciate that, Cliff. I hope you enjoy it. Very cool. Thank you. All right. Brett V says, bet all you guys previously dived on the shipwreck are asking themselves, if only. Yes, indeed. I'm sure they are now, too. Oh, and the stacking nerd says, did I tell you about my boat trip to South Carolina? No, I'd love to hear about it. Maybe you can do a video on it. I love that. That's, that's awesome. All right. Very cool. Out of time, metal detecting says, I get notifications just fine, Sal. I guess YouTube has figured out I'm not going away. Well, I'm glad you're here, my friend. Uh, yes, yes, uh, Silver Mac, Atmex has got them. If you look in the link uh, in this live stream, I believe it's in here. Let me see. Yes, it's here. Um, if you show, show more, there's a link there to Atmex to the rounds there. This is the new two ounce round, uh, not the previous one, not the one ounce one. Still pretty thick, though. All right, let's see all right, what we got here. Okay, Chef Capone Jr. says you have some great community members. Thanks to them all. Yes, the, this is a great audience, and, and they uh, contribute so much. I appreciate them, definitely. 
75 watching says native stacker thank you cliff should get up friday nice it's pretty quick shipping all right very cool all right nice let's see here uh okay cliff uh says it's pronounced like talladega but dallin said uh Dalladega? Da uh, Dalladega? is that it Dalladega? Well, Glory, always share a good safe to come together. Godspeed sincerely, Larry Winnington. Thank you, Larry. Appreciate that. This is on the video I posted today. Oh, Silver Turtle, the two-ounce rounds are awesome. Thank you, Silver Turtle. Appreciate that, my friend. I think he got you got one from Intaglio, I think, right? Intaglio just does some great stuff, too. They've got a railroad. The, uh, the railroad is coming together. That's a pretty cool thing. All right, let's see here. All right, um, Alan Miller, D. Lang Delanaga, Delanaga, Delanaga. Don't try proper English. English. Okay, it's a southern name. Indian name. Delanga, Delanaga, Delanaga. All right, let's see here. Okay, speed. I need to order my celebrated round, especially knowing the Queen's Beast capsule. Yes, Queen's Beast, uh, Queen's Beast capsule fits it. Very cool. A coffee mug. I want a coffee mug. Yeah. There's. I don't even have. I need to get order me a salivate coffee mug too. As much as I drink coffee here. Oh, let's see here. All right, where are we at? Oh, Slacker Bar, native my Slacker Bar. Yeah, Slacker Stacker, you've got a bar too, don't you? Do you have a bar through MK Bars? Uh, let's see here. Hey, there we go. All right, putting troopers to bed. Second Storm Trooper, yes. And you guys definitely check out Stormy's, um, his, um, his auction tonight at 8.30, I think. All right, let's see here. Let's check out his auction. 8.30. Okay, out of time. Dulanuga is how you pronounce it. Dulanuga. Everybody's doing it differently, or I'm not getting it right. I'm not sure what this is. Hostile takeover for Glenn. Have to check that. If you guys have any articles, I'll probably forget it's here, but send it to me via email, and I'll check it out. Thank you. Mark B says, that would be the best thrill of finding gold coins like this. Yes, it sure would. Terry says, hey, Sal. Thank you, Terry. Hello to you. Terry Rabidou, there she is in the flesh. All right. Terry, and I, you and Donnie Boy show up tonight. Yes, show up to his uh, live stream. No sell through SM bars, SM bars, SM bars. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see here. Where are we at? Okay. And a good reason to go to the beach. Yes, it sure is. Wasn't that far off the beach either. Okay. We're getting near the top here, folks. Uh, Bob Silver says, I'm glad it's under $20 a bit. Unmanipulated, I could very well be 100 or two. Okay, very good. Thank you, Bob. Checked out that video. And we'll do a couple more here. I think it should be around $100 an ounce because if it's a limited resource and you can't mine it anywhere, we have to already waste it so much of landfills. That's not enough of it in the world to take a currency. And the industrial for man just keeps going up. Yes. Thank you. All right. One more comment, guys. I'm going to get off of here. Appreciate you guys, though. Make sure to uh, stay tuned for uh, Stacking Stormtroopers auction tonight. Every Tuesday night, he does it. The new discovery, says Health Babe, do look a lot more stunning than many new Liberty heads. Congrats for the crew for the great discovery. Thanks for bringing the news to the public. Thank you, Health Babe. Appreciate you very much. Good to see Health Babe. All right, let's see here. It's 27 Super Light. Thank you very much. And uh, one more here. He says, I think it should be $65 an ounce, says Mr. Popzilla. Let's see if I can respond to his comment now. Yes, it worked this time. Good. All right. Love shipwreck gold porn. Thanks, Astro Club. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And thanks, Mr. Popzilla, for going back and voting on this. It means a lot. The more votes for this, the better. I want to get a pulse from everybody in the in the community here, for sure, uh, on where they think the price of silver should be. Glenn D thinks uh, for twenty five. That's where I think it should be. Uh, twenty five dollars. Okay, thank you, Glenn D. I don't want to vote for you, but uh, yeah. But thank you, Glenn D. I appreciate it. Hoping get to a computer. Vote four five seven. I like silver spots between eighteen and twenty one dollars and eighteen ounce, but a bad price of twenty one dollars. Every ounce should be like twenty dollars. Every bar, twenty ounce bar two hundred dollars easy with. I never read that fast, but thank you, Bill four five seven. Appreciate it very much. I'm gonna head out of here. You guys 
Have a great evening. I appreciate you guys being here. A multitude of spititude and salivitude and multitude and coffeetude and kittytude and furry softnesstude and hugitude and all captitude. Thank you for the all captitude tonight, everybody. Appreciate y'all very much. And I want you to leave you with this piece of advice that you'll probably have never heard me say before, but you maybe have. And that is to keep your feet on the ground. No, keep your feet on the stars and keep reaching for the ground and keep slurping in your coffee. Ah, take a squeezy. Thanks for the captitudes. See y'all later.